In the previous video, part 5, I flanged the throat plate to fit the boiler barrel. In this video, I bound up the sides of the throat plate. So we're at the stage now where we need to bend the sides to 90 degrees. So to that end I've made a, a wood former with some scrap bits of wood. I've screwed down this MDF boss to locate on the diameter and I've put a pin in as well to locate on a stay hole to keep the alignment right. taken the former that I was using previously to form the flange and I've just trimmed it up. Okay, I'm going to clamp it together. I want to try and keep this as straight as possible as I bend it, so I'm going to put a couple of bits of wood on and clamp those together. And let's go. So when I get to about that angle you can definitely feel the, the work harder than the copper becomes significantly more difficult to bend it. So I think that's time for an anneal. So here we go again. Time for another anneal. Hopefully the next one will get us nearly there and then we can concentrate on getting the corners actually square with a very tight radius.
So it's been annealed again. I've been working on it to try and close it a bit more. I've decided to use this steel plate to reinforce the MDF clamping plate. It's not really going as well as I thought it might. But we'll see how we get on. Okay, it's been annealed again and we're just going to continue trying to get these sides down and the corner formed. Looks good. I've cut the MDF backing plate so that I can get close with the hammer on this corner. And I'll use a steel reinforcing plate to keep it down, keep it in place. Okay, time for another annual. I think it's looking pretty good. I think I like the corner radius to be a little bit tighter. So I'll maybe knock something up to try and do that. And then the sides need straightening out and squaring up. So I think one more nail and then a bit tidying up and we, we can give it a clean up. Okay I've annealed it again but I'm thinking I'll just leave the radius in the corner as it is, it's not too bad and it measures four and a quarter inches across the width there exactly which is what we need so I'm just using the edge of the, the bench in this flat plate to clamp the sides to straighten up a bit which seems to be working quite well So it's going to take a bit more manipulation but I think I'll leave that until we get the back plate in and there's a dome goes on the top so we'll get those ready and then fit it to those items so I think I'll leave it at that for now so it just remains for this to be cleaned up so I'll give it a wire brush and then put it in the acid bath
So it's come out pretty um, square at the base. It's not rocking on the bench, assuming the bench is flat. Just, I'm sure it's flat enough. I couldn't resist, this is the dome that goes on the top. So this is where it fits. So it's looking pretty good. So I'll try the boiler tube in. It's a little bit tight so it needs a bit of tidying up. It's actually starting to look like a boiler. Okay, this is my acid bath that I'm using at the moment. I just use uh, dry acid salts, which is available from a few of the model engineering suppliers in the UK. So we'll just, uh, this is quite well used, probably needs renewing before long. But uh, we'll just drop this in and leave it for a couple of hours. Okay, it's only been in there actually about an hour. And it's looking about ready. So we'll take it out, give it a clean in some water. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks to everyone who subscribed. It's very much appreciated. See you next time. <laughs>